good evening all of you i hope you all are doing well and today in this particular class we are going to study the physical geography oceans and marine resources and canals etc this is the part 2 of the series yesterday we have completed the part 1 this is the part 2 okay without further ado let's start our today's discussion our first question which one among the following sea without having a coastline okay so you need to find out which sea is having a no coastline almost all the sea you can see they are having the coastline but which is that sea which which has no coastline area it's a very interesting question okay this you have to remember what is the answer let's see the answer answer is option b sargasso sea okay see please remember sargasso sea is a ocean gyre okay so it is called as ocean gyre so what is a gyre or what is ocean gyre so it is a region okay a region anywhere which is bounded by the different currents of the ocean so that portion is called as ocean gyre so similarly sargasso sea has no coastline in fact it is there in the atlantic ocean it is bounded by the four ocean currents okay so that's why it will form an ocean gyre okay i am getting my point north sea baltic sea bering sea all have a coastline but when it when it comes to the sargasso sea it has no coastline in fact it is a ocean gyre it is surrounded by the four different ocean currents okay it is there in the atlantic sea okay so i hope this is clear to you you can see this is please concentrate on this picture so this is in the atlantic sea you can see na this middle uh, uh, no reason this is the sargasso sea it is covered by the four ocean currents okay i hope this is clear to you so next the sargasso sea is a part of which ocean north atlantic ocean south atlantic indian ocean arctic ocean what is the answer Just we have studied, right? You can guess easily. I guess so. Sea is part of which, which ocean and which region? Okay, let's see the answer. Answer is option A, North Atlantic Ocean. Okay, the Sargasso Sea is part of the North Atlantic Ocean. In the previous question, we have studied about the Sargasso Sea. It is in fact a ocean gyre. It is covered by the four different ocean currents. It is in the Atlantic Ocean, specifically in the North Atlantic Ocean. Okay, next. the line drawn over a map joining the points having similar amount of salinity is known as what is the answer similar amount of salinity you can refer this picture okay consider these are the different ocean and they are they all are connected with a line okay what do you call that line which is having the salinity similar whether you call them as isotherm isohet isohaline isogon the line drawn over a map joining the points having similar amounts of salinity is known as what is the answer let's see the answer it is isohaline okay isohalines are the lines that join the points of equal salinity you can refer this diagram okay consider this is the of uh, a water body this is b water body and this one is c water body and these three water bodies are having the similar amount of salinity okay when you draw a line joining all these a b c water bodies then that particular line is called as isohaline line okay isohalines okay what are isohalines the areas joining the same uh, amount of salinity it is known as the isohaline okay isotherm means it is related to the temperature okay isohaline means the word haline haline means something related to the salinity iso means similar we already know isotherm isobars okay isotopes many things are there iso means similar haline means salinity okay the places which are having the same salinity when you draw a particular line to join them it is called as isohaline line okay next which of the following two gulfs are connected by hormuz strait so very important strait most of the times it will be in the news okay hormuz strait or you can say strait of hormuz 
which of the following two girls are connected by Hormuz string? What is the answer? It's important state, okay? Okay, let's see. It is the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. Okay, Harmo Strait, I will show you in the picture. Look, here they have pointed out in the red color. So this is called as the Strait of Hormuz. It is connecting the Persian Gulf, okay, and the Gulf of Oman. Upper side, Persian Gulf is there. And below here, Gulf of Oman is there. Okay, so this particular state of Hormuz is connecting these two water bodies. Okay, Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. Okay, you can see the bordering countries. Here, Oman is there, UAE is there, Qatar is there. Okay, so Pakistan is there. Different countries are border uh, bordering here. So please, you should remember it is connecting the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. So what is straight? That you need to understand. Different straits are there. Many straits are there in the globe. The strait meaning it is a narrow passage of water which is connecting the two seas or two different large water bodies. Okay. So that is called as a particular strait. So what is strait? It is a narrow passage of water which is connecting the two seas or two other large areas of water or water bodies. So that is called as strait. So here you can see it is a narrow pathway. Okay. It is also uh, you know containing a lot of water. So this narrow water body is connecting two larger water areas. One is Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. So that's why it is called as a strait. Okay, so the name here is Strait of Hormuz. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. Next, which is the longest river of Europe? Which is the longest river of Europe? What is the answer? Today, all questions are very factual stuff, okay? Which is the longest river of Europe? Okay, let's see the answer. Answer is option B, Olga River. Olga is the longest river of Europe, okay? Next. In which sea the river Don flows in? In which sea the river Don flows in? Whether it is in the Caspian Sea, Black Sea, Sea of Ojo and Baltic Sea. What is the answer? Be quick, guys. Let's see the answer. It is Sea of Ajo. Okay. The Don, it is a Russian river. It is rises in the town of Novo Moscow. And it flows over the 1,800 kilometer distance into the Sea of Ajo. Okay. You can see in this picture. So this particular thick blue line they are showing now. So it is Don River. Okay, it is flowing in the Sea of Ajo. Wait, I will mark it. Then you can understand. See, so this is the Don River, and here it is the Sea of Ajo, and it is the Black Sea. You can see the bordering countries here. Georgia is there, Ukraine is there, Kazakhstan there is there. Okay, so these are the bordering countries. So please remember the Don River, it flows in the Sea of Ajo. Okay, it is a Russian river. I think it is clear to you. We'll move on to the next question. Gaja Strip lies along the coast of which sea? Gaja Strip lies along the coast of whether it is Dead Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Persian Sea and Red Sea. What is the answer? Think about it. It's very important, okay? It was there in the news for a very long time. Even last year also it was there in the news. Okay, let's see the answer. So it is the it is the along the coast of Mediterranean Sea. You can see in the picture. I will show you. See this whole area is called as Gaza Strait. Okay, so here this whole area is called as the 
gaja strip i will show you with the marker then you can understand so this is the gaja strip and it's a very important disputed area between the israel and palestine okay so gaza strip and it is along the coast of mediterranean sea so here israel is there egypt is there so this whole strip is there no it is called as the gaza strip okay i hope this is clear to you we'll move on to the next question the kyle canal connects which to sea the kyle canal connects which to sea let's see the answer it is the baltic sea and north sea option d is correct okay the kyle canal it connects the baltic sea as well as the north sea you can see the picture this particular red line it is the kyle canal okay it is connecting the one side north sea is there and the side baltic sea is there it is the connection between the north sea as well as the baltic sea okay i have seen in the picture it is the kyle canal okay you can see germany is here denmark is here okay this canal is connecting north sea as well as baltic sea okay next the waterfall victoria is associated with the river the waterfall victoria is associated with the river whether it is amazon missouri st lawrence or jambeji what is the answer there is one big waterfall uh, name called victoria i will give you hint it is there in the africa can you guess which river it would be this victoria waterfall is located in the africa can you guess which river it is associated with which river by the name you can understand no okay, let's see the answer it is option d jambeji Victoria Falls is a waterfall in southern Africa on the river Zambezi. Okay, so whenever you heard the name Victoria, you might feel like it is something related to the Europe. Okay, but it is related to the Africa. It is related to the Zambezi River in the southern Africa. Next, the Great Barrier Reef is located on the coast of. The Great Barrier Reef is located on the coast of. Yesterday we studied right the Great Barrier Reef. Let's see the answer. It is East Australia. Option C is correct. The Great Barrier Reef is located on the coast of East Australia. Okay, the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system, composed of over two thousand nine hundred individual reefs and nine hundred. Islands stretching for over the two thousand six hundred kilometers over an area of approximately three lakh forty four thousand four hundred square kilometers. It is there along the coastline of East Australia. Okay, it is a big coral reef system. The name given here as Great Barrier Reef. Okay, so at least you should remember it is related to the Australia. Okay, next, what is the name of the strait where Adams Bridge is situated? What is the name of the strait where Adams Bridge is situated? So, what is the answer? Another name of Adams Bridge. Can anybody guess? What is the another name of Adams Bridge? I will give you the hint. It is also called as Rama Setu. Rama Setu. Where it is located? I think you already have heard about Rama Setu. Where it is located? Okay, let's see the answer. Option C is correct. It is in the Park Strait. Okay, Adams Bridge separates the Gulf of Mannar from the Park Strait. You can see in the picture. I will show you with the marker, then you can understand. See, this is the Adams Bridge. Okay, so it is located in the Park Bay, or you can say Park Strait. Okay, it is separating the Gulf of Mannar as well as it is uh, separating the Gulf of Mannar from the Park Strait. This Adams Bridge. So please remember, it is in the Park Strait. Okay. 
the another name of adams bridge is ramasetu both are same adams bridge and ramasetu both are same next the strait which separates asia from north america so what is that strait which is separating the asia from north america it's very important you need to know the strait which is separating the asia from north america Okay, let's see the answer it is the bering strait okay the bering strait which separates the eastern uh, most point of the asian continent and western most point of the north american continent okay you can see in this you know small line they have written it is in the bering strait it is written as the bering strait here i think you are it is not visible to you i will show you it with the marker see this is the bering strait okay so it is separating the eastern most point of the asian asian continent this is the eastern most point of the asian continent and the western most uh, point of the north american continent okay i hope this is clear to you the strait which separates asia from north america is bering strait okay next move on to the next question what is true about lake superior so here you need to find out which statement is true about the lake superior what is true about lake superior let's see the answer somebody has given correct answer right option b is correct it is the largest fresh water lake of the world okay lake superior is the largest fresh water lake of the world it lies between the canada and usa that also very important point okay so first thing it is the largest fresh water lake in the world second thing it lies in the it lies between the canada and usa not wholly within the usa okay it lies between the canada and usa okay so next the lake baikal is situated in the region of yesterday we have studied lake, lake baikal right is situated in the region of which area european russia western siberia northeastern part of russia eastern russia to north mongolia lake baikal let's see the answer option d is correct it is situated in the eastern russia to the north of mongolia okay yesterday we have seen the picture of lake baikal where it is there okay it is situated in the eastern russia to the north of mongolia okay next which one of the following pair is not correctly matched which of which one of the following pairs is not correctly matched again try to mark the keyword here which one is not correctly matched what is the answer here they are giving four options with the different strait and the water bodies they are separating davis strait dover strait park strait sunda strait let's see the answer it is option b dover strait arctic sea and north atlantic ocean so that is not correctly matched okay the strait of dover or you can say dover strait is it historically known as the dover narrows okay dover narrows it is the narrowest part of the english channel it is marking the boundary between the english channel and north sea separating the great britain from the continental europe it is not separating the arctic sea and north atlantic ocean that's why it is not correctly matched okay you can see in the picture this is the strait dover it is also called as over narrows because it's a very narrow uh, water body connecting the english channel as well as the uh, this thing great uh, great britain and continental europe okay it is separating the english channel and the north sea not the attack attract arctic arctic sea and north atlantic ocean okay so that's why it is wrong look at the other options option a davis strait davis strait is between the bappin sea and atlantic ocean this is true okay if you want you can google it you will see the clear map where davis strait is located 
it is separating the Baffin Sea and Atlantic Ocean. Because of no space, I have not kept all the diagrams here. And next, Park Strait. Park Strait we have studied right in the previous portion. The Park Strait, where we have, what is the important feature we have seen in the Park Strait? Anybody do let me know in the comment section. Which bridge is located in the Park Strait? Which bridge is that? Adams Bridge, right? Please don't forget such things. So, in Park Strait, we have seen the Adams Bridge. Or you can say it is Ramasetu. Next, Sunda Strait. It is in the Java Sea and Indian Ocean. It is true. And Park Strait, Managab and Bay of Bengal. It is true. And now we have left with the Dover Strait. It is not between the Arctic Sea and North Atlantic Ocean, but it is between the English Channel as well as North Sea. So that's why option B is not correctly matched. Okay, all other options are correctly matched. Okay, next. Here, you need to match the list one and list two. Match the following questions are there. Find out the correct sequence using the codes given below. In list one, they have given the current name. And second, the feature of it. Okay. Kurosho current, Peru current, Labrador current, Florida current. List two, warm current in Atlantic Ocean, cold current in the Atlantic Ocean, warm current in Pacific Ocean, cold current in the Pacific Ocean. Please match them and try to find out the correct answer. Okay, let's see the answer. Option B is correct. Okay, so you can see here. See, Kurosho current is warm current in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, Kurosho current is warm. Wait, I will show you with the marker, then you can understand. Kurosho current is warm current with the within the Pacific Ocean. Next, Peru current. It is one of the cold current in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so cold current in the Pacific Ocean. Next, Labrador current is cold current. Yesterday class we have studied. It is cold current in the Atlantic Ocean. Next, Florida current. It is warm current in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so 3, 4, 2, 1 is correct. 3, 4, 2, 1 is correct. So it is not, I think it's not option B, printing mistake, sorry. It is option A. Okay, 3, 4, 2, 1 is correct. Once again, we will match Kurosho current. It is the warm current in the Pacific Ocean. Peru current is the cold current in the Pacific Ocean. Labrador current is the cold current again in the Atlantic Ocean. Florida current is warm current in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so 3, 4, 2, 1 is correct. Okay, option A is correct. I hope this is clear to you. We'll move on to the next question. Which one of the following is not correctly matched? Again, you need to find out which one is not correctly matched. Again, please make the note of keywords, which is not correctly matched. Let's see the answer. Option D is correct. Baffin North Pacific Ocean. Okay. This Baffin Bay is located between the Baffin Island and the southwest coast of Greenland. Okay. It's a marginal sea of the North Atlantic Ocean. It is not in the Pacific Ocean. That's why it is not correctly matched. Okay. So this Baffin Bay or Baffin North, it is related to the North Atlantic Ocean, not related to the Pacific Ocean. Okay. So that's why it is wrong. Since they are asking which one is not correctly matched, option D is not correctly matched. Okay, look here, Greenland, Arctic Ocean, it is true. Madagascar, Indian Ocean, yesterday only we studied, right? Madagascar is the largest island of the Indian Ocean. So that is true. Next, this, Samnia, it is South Pacific Ocean, it is true. So Baffin North, it should be in the Atlantic Ocean, not in the Pacific Ocean. That's why it is wrong. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. So we next move on to the next question. Which of the following seas are enclosed? Here codes are given below. You need to find out which of the following seas are enclosed. It means they covered with the boundaries. What is the answer? Enclosed means enclosed with the boundaries, okay, coastline. 
so those are called as enclosed seas so which among these these are enclosed let's see the answer option c is correct 2 and 3 okay so arab sea as well as the sea of azov so these two are enclosed apart from that andaman sea and bering sea so these are not enclosed so that's why they they are asking which which sea are enclosed you can choose the option c which is telling 2 and 3 okay the arab sea is the region of the northern indian ocean it is bounded on the north by pakistan and iran on the west by northeastern somalia and the arabian peninsula and on the east by india so okay in all other direction it has some coastline so that's why it is the bounded sea okay enclosed sea okay similarly the sea of azov it is also bounded by north by mainland of ukraine east by russia and in the west by the crimean peninsula that's why all the side in the all direction it is covered by some coastline that's why these are called as enclosed sea if you see the andaman sea and bering sea in the map you can see there is no such big coastline it is surrounded okay so these are open in nature so that's why three are correct you can easily eliminate andaman sea and bering sea only we left with arab sea as well as sea of azov okay so i hope this is clear to you next the largest delta of the world is and again please make the note of the important keyword world is important and largest delta is important they are not asking about india okay they are asking about the world the largest delta of the world what is the answer i think everyone now this okay what is the answer i'll give you some time just think about it okay let's see the answer it is sundarban delta okay so the largest delta of the world is sundarban delta okay this is also called with different names you need to remember ganges brahmaputra delta it is similar name given to the sundarban delta it is also called as bay of bengal delta sorry bengal delta okay sundarban delta ganges brahmaputra delta and bengal delta these are the different names given to the sundarban delta okay all are same so this is the one of the largest delta of the world okay the sundarban forest you might have heard the name it is it is lying in the this sundarban delta region only okay so please remember the largest delta of the world is sundarban delta it is also called as ganga brahmaputra delta and bengal delta next here you need to match list 1 and list 2 using the codes given below list 1 gulf stream west wind drift peru current west australia list 2 pacific ocean a slow eastward movement of water over the zone of westerly wind indian ocean warm current warm current so what is the answer let's see the answer option a is correct 4 2 1 3 is the correct sequence the gulf stream what is gulf stream it's a warm current just now we have studied right in the previous question gulf stream is a warm ocean current okay a should match with 4 if you know only one point you can easily eliminate option b and option d because just now we have studied gulf stream is the warm ocean current okay so now you have 50% chances to get this question right okay option either option a is correct or option c is correct okay so next we move on to the next option that is west wind drift so what is west wind drift it is a slow eastward movement of water over the zone of westerly wind okay by the name only you can understand even though if you don't know about the west wind drift see pacific ocean indian ocean warm current so these are not matching with west wind drift they are talking about wind drift okay if you read the 
If you read carefully the list two, you can see a slow eastward movement of water over the zone of westerly wind. So this might be possible match for the west wind drift. Okay, likewise you can match. So B should match with two. Next, Peru current. So Peru current, where it is located in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so West Australia, it is Indian Ocean. Okay, so that's why four to one is the correct answer. This West Australian means it is it is a one kind of current, West Australian current. Okay, so don't get confused with the country, West Australian current. It is located in the Indian Ocean. Okay, next. Here statement one and two are given. You need to find out the correct answer using the course given below. So read these statements carefully and find out the correct answer using these two statements, using these four statements. It is just like assertion and reason kind of question. Okay, statement one is assertion, statement two is the reason, like that. Okay, let's see. Let's see the answer. Option C is correct answer. Statement one is true, but statement two is false. Okay. Look at the statement number one. The Kurosho is a warm north flowing ocean current on the west side of North Pacific Ocean. Obviously, it is true. Okay. Kurosho is the warm north flowing ocean current. Where it is located? It is located in the north of the Pacific Ocean. Statement number one is correct. Look at the statement number two. The presence of a number of volcanoes at the bottom of the sea of Japan is responsible for the Kurosho becoming warm. So indirectly or directly they are telling that number of volcanoes which are there in the sea, they are the reason for the warmness of the Kurosho current. Obviously it is wrong. Okay, The Kurosho current is warm due to the variation in water level in the northern region of the East China Sea and neighboring ocean. Not because of there is the volcanoes. Okay, so that's why statement number two is completely wrong. Statement number one is correct. Option C is correct. Statement number one is true, but statement number two is false. Okay, so next. Which one of the following is the tide produced as a consequence of moon and sun pulling the earth in the same direction? Which one of the following is the tide produced as a consequence of moon and sun pulling the earth in the same direction? It's a very simple question so let's see it is the spring tide okay spring tides occur basically when the sun and moon are directly in the line with the earth and their gravitational pulls reinforce each other this will happen during the spring time okay so this is called a spring tide okay so look at the question here which one of the following is the tide produced as a consequence of moon and sun pulling the earth in the same direction Okay, so this is the, what is the consequence of this phenomenon? Spring tide. The spring tides occur when the sun and moon are directly in line with the earth. Whenever they are in line with the earth, the gravitational pull happens that reinforce the, each other. That's why spring tide formation will happen. Okay, so answer is spring tide. Next, which water body separates Australia from New Zealand? It's a very important question. Okay, so which water body separates Australia from New Zealand? Let's see the answer. Option C is correct. This Tasman Sea. Okay. I can show you in the picture. Okay. You can see in the picture. Wait, I will use some mark here. You can understand. See. So this is the Tasman Sea. Okay. Here New Zealand is there. Australia is there. Okay. So this water body, Tasman Sea, it is separating the Australia from New Zealand. Okay. It's a factual stuff. You just need to remember it. Okay. There is no logic here, just fact. Tsunamis are not caused by hurricanes, earthquakes, undersea, landslide, volcanic eruption. Tsunamis are not caused by what? Again, mark the important keywords. The keyword is not and tsunamis. What is the answer? Okay, 
somebody is giving correct answer option a is correct it is hurricanes tsunami is not caused by the hurricanes see tsunami see earthquakes under sea landslides volcanic eruptions these all are actually the factors related to the tsunamis okay whenever earthquake happened in the undersea and under sea uh, landslides and volcanic eruption happen in the underwater then obviously tsunami formation will happen but hurricane is different phenomena hurricane is like cyclone it is cyclone okay so these will not cause the tsunamis earthquake will cause the tsunami yes under sea landslide will so, uh, you know cause the tsunamis right volcanic eruptions are the factors for the formation of tsunamis yes right but hurricanes are the cyclones these are not related to the tsunamis okay they will not form the tsunamis that's why option a is correct since they are asking which one is not caused by the tsunamis okay next which one of the following is a correct sequence in the increasing order of salinity concentration okay so please mark the keywords here increasing order of salinity it's a keyword so here you need to start with one water body which is having less salinity then after that higher salinity then higher salinity like that you need to you know arrange them in the increasing order not in the decreasing order that is with respect to the salinity concentration different water bodies have different kind of salinity concentration right yesterday we have seen one question on salinity Okay, let's see the answer option b is correct it is baltic sea north sea gulf of california and red sea okay that is the correct sequence baltic sea has less salinity north sea less uh, compared to the baltic sea it is high then gulf of california last one is red sea it is it is having the highest salinity so this is the correct sequence of increasing order of salinity concentration okay so next which one of the following is the correct sequence of the following topographical features found from upper to lower course of a river again please mark the important keyword topological features from upper to lower course of river let's see the answer answer is option c rapids oxbow lake and estuary okay see here they are telling you need to arrange the arrange in the current sequence these topographical features from the upper to lower course of the river see when you see the first origin of the river no that is called as upper upper course and next comes the lower course of the river so these are the different form of topological feature that formed due to the course of the river flow okay so whenever you see from upper course to the lower course first feature you will see as rapids okay rapid formation will happen first in the upper course of the river so next comes the oxbow lake it is because of erosion of the river next comes the estuaries you can see estuaries estuaries formation will happen at the mouth of the river okay it is at the lower course of the river okay so first comes rapids next oxbow lakes and estuary i will mark you wait i will mark this see oxbow lake is here estuary is here okay so oxbow lake is here and estuary is here estuary is exactly at the mouth of the river okay from upper course to lower course first comes the rapid so these are the rapids next oxbow lake then the estuary okay if they ask in reverse direction from lower course to upper course then you have to rearrange it first comes estuary next oxbow lake next rapids okay so i hope this is clear to you we'll move on to the next question which one of the following pair is not correctly matched here you need to find out which one is not correctly matched let's see the answer answer is option b labrador warm ocean current 
in fact labrador is a cold ocean current in the north atlantic ocean we have already studied right in the previous question that's why it is not correctly matched labrador is the cold current here labrador they are giving as warm ocean current in fact it is the cold ocean current okay so that's why it is wrong next which one among the following best explains the reason for the eastern and western boundaries of pacific ocean experiencing frequent earthquake they are giving such a long statement in the question just to make you confuse the question core is very simple pacific ocean is experiencing the frequent earthquake okay so western and eastern boundaries of the pacific ocean is experiencing the frequent earthquakes what is the reason for that what could be the possible reason for that for the frequent earthquakes in the boundaries of the pacific ocean let's see the answer answer is option b these margins coincide with the plate margins okay the eastern and western boundaries of the pacific ocean experience the frequent earthquake because these margins coincide with the plate margins so this is related to the plate tectonic theory okay we have already studied in our previous class there are different plates are there okay on the earth these plates are constantly moving on the asthenosphere sphere and and the asthenosphere sphere layer okay so that is the mantle is uh, like a wax like structure on top of the mantle these plates are moving okay because of this movement lot of tectonical plates are colliding and diverging all kind of uh, you know things are happening that's why whenever the margins collides with the plate margin that is plate uh, you know uh, continental plate margins earthquake will happen that's why pacific ocean is experiencing the frequent earthquake because their eastern and western boundary plates are coinciding with the tectonic plate margins okay so that is the reason i hope this is clear to you this is related to the plate tectonic theory okay next which of the following seas has the highest salinity this is the last question of the day which of the following sea has the highest salinity so this is a repeated question just to understand you how much you are revising in your home i put it once again this is the same question we have discussed yesterday in fact the first question of the yesterday's class is this only first question of the yesterday class is this question only okay let's see it is dead sea dead sea has the highest salinity okay 34.2% salinity is there it is uh, you know measured in 2011 okay so dead sea has the highest salinity because the operation rate uh, in the dead sea is very much high that's why it is having the highest salinity okay and this is it so in this topic you learn the physical geography oceans and marine resources canals etc in part 2 if you have any doubts regarding these question do let me know in the comment section any doubts i think today's class is all about factual stuff Okay guys I assume there are no doubts thank you so much and see you in the next class